In the last episode of History Traveler, we were right here at the home of James Warfield, talking about some of the experiences that this family had during the Battle of Gettysburg. The, the Warfields found themselves right in the epicenter of some of the most violent fighting of the Civil War on the second day of battle here in this area. Well, another family that lived close by uh, was the Peffers. Uh, the Peffers are the ancestors of Eric Dorr. And, and they were also deeply affected by this battle. So today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a few artifacts that are connected with the Peffer family and uh, their experience during the Battle of Gettysburg. We talked about the Peffers of Gettysburg, who are my Gettysburg ancestors, in a previous video. And in that video, we were at Ziegler's Grove. Um, but the Peffers moved to Ziegler's Grove in about 1865. During the Battle of Gettysburg, they were actually in uh, Franklin Township, and um, which is what we would call today South Cavalry Field. So if you are a little familiar with the area, you'd say, kind of near the, the Eisenhower farm, but maybe a little south of there. And like most people in Gettysburg, when they found out that the Confederates were coming, they fled. They took their animals and they fled. And they left their homestead. And uh, they were tenant farmers at the time. This, are, this is the Peffers of Gettysburg. And um, I was left with some really great stories about the Peffers of Gettysburg and some of the things that happened following the battle. And one of the neatest stories, in my opinion, was um, it involved this grandfather clock. Now, this grandfather clock was recently donated to the Gettysburg Museum of History by uh, one of the descendants of the Peffers. And um, right now, it's in a remote location. We're filming elsewhere, but it will be coming to the Gettysburg Museum of History very soon. But the story of this clock is it's a, it's a 1700s Hostetter, or Host, Jacob's Hostetter clock. Um, the face was made in Hanover. I believe the, inner, the inside part was, or the cabinet was made in Lancaster, but it's really from the late 1700s. It's a very beautiful clock. And um, this was in the Peffer farm when the Confederates occupied the house. And the story was that the Confederates threw flour paste in the clockworks gumming up the clock and so they had to have that clock uh, cleaned when they got back. The other thing that happened was those little uh, round parts up there, the Confederates broke those off and they were replaced by uh, breastplates by my great-great-grandfather and I always thought that was interesting. Now in the 1980s uh, my mother obtained this clock and, and they had um, new uh, flowers put back up there, um, they, they restored the clock, but um, I'm not sure if those are originals from another clock that they had put on there or if they had those made, but they match really well. But this clock is really exquisite, you know, the Hostetter clocks or Hostetter clocks are very um, nice fine antiques, and if you look in here, there's some writing on the side here, and this is where some various repairs were made over the years. And it has the name of the clock repair. One's 1898, one's 1936. Um, and this is saying, repaired for Mrs. Belknap. Mrs. Belknap was my grandfather, Fred Peffer's sister, who had that, uh, had the clock for a while, and then it went to my mother, and now it's coming to the Gettysburg Museum of History. But interesting clock with some very interesting history. We're going to come back to the museum in a little bit, and I'm going to show you another item that was left behind by a Confederate. This was damage done by the Confederates. They also left something very interesting, and I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, we're back at the Gettysburg Museum of History and um, I explained a little bit about the Peffer clock and, and the Confederates broke the, the little 
wood pieces off the top that I described and I said that they were replaced temporarily by my great-great-grandfather with a breastplate and here is one of the original breastplates that they put up there. They actually drilled a hole in it. I know we quit cringe to think of that but you know this was just battlefield debris and they thought it would make a great decorative piece. Drilled a hole and they attached it to the top of the clock. It's a standard Civil War Union breastplate. Interestingly though it, it, it has a maker mark on the back which is a little a little rare and you can see where the, the hook, hooks were broken off of this but it's uh, W.H. Smith of Brooklyn, New York. That's a maker, it's not a soldier's name um, and that was one of the many makers of uh, breastplates during the Civil War. So I, one of the other items that they came home to, you know I said they came home to find some destruction and they also found something that was left behind behind by the Confederates that were occupying the house. And, and that item is this um, Colt Army Revolver. Now we've talked about this briefly in other videos, but I just wanted to bring that out because this was one of the items that they came home to. This was found actually on their kitchen table when they came home. So somebody had to leave that house in a, in a hurry, I guess. Um, you know, there was some combat in the area and the Confederates left there fairly quickly. But this is one of the pieces that was in my grandfather's den when I was a kid. Most of the Peffer relics were in the basement, you know, the Doug relics, um, but this piece and a few others were in his den. So when I would come visit my grandfather as a child, the first thing I would want to do is go to the den after greeting everyone and, and look at this gun. And, and, and I would literally um, stare at it for long periods of time, you know, as a child, being able to touch something like this, um, I, I think that's, you know, if I could say one item ignited my passion for artifacts more than anything, I, I would say it's probably this gun. But this is a true Gettysburg recovered uh, artifact, um, still in working condition. Um, it's it's uh, just an exquisite piece, but it's one of the, it's probably the item that made me do what I do today is, um, become fascinated with artifacts, knowing that a Civil War soldier touched this and held this, um, just uh, fascinated me. All right, well that was just a little bit more on the story of the Peffer family here at Gettysburg. It's, it's probably fair to say that, that in war, the, the ones who suffer the most are the civilians. The, the people here in this area didn't ask for, for this battle to come to them, and they were deeply affected by what came here. The same holds true of the South. Many families lost their homes and, and lost their livelihoods. And these artifacts are physical reminders that we have of just how awful war can be.